Hi everybody! Shane here with you from Guitar at Work. This is uh, The Needle and the Damage done by Neil Young. A uh, fantastic song. And it's going to be great for your right hand. It might be a bit of a push forward in that department. Um, well, I'm going to do a couple of different ways. going to do a, an easier version at first, just to sketch the chords and get something going with the right hand. And then well, let's get right into the actual picking that's going on there. Um, and I'll be referring to sheets for this all through the video. So please head to shanesimpson.com. shanesimpson.com. Look for a red button that says Download Guitar at Work Song Sheets. Put halfway down the, the page there for now. Um, no hassles. No gimmicks, nothing to sign up for, just go get them and uh, you'll be able to follow along a whole lot easier. I'm going to trust that you can read tablature and chord diagrams and uh, you're all set to go. Now, assuming you have those shapes, and thank you for subscribing, by the way. Thank you for subscribing for all your comments and song suggestions. A lot of videos coming your way, so be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon. That'll tell you, uh, give you a notification when new videos have come out. I'm trying to be as regular as I can. And uh, you can now support this channel by going to patreon.com slash guitar at work and just throw in a buck or two in that tip jar or become a patron. It really does help on this, on this, uh, from this side anyway. So thank you for that. Let's jump right in here. You have a guitar at work um, song sheet, Needle and the Damage Done. I'm calling it the easier version. All that is, is it's going to give you the, the actual left hand uh, chord shapes, okay? Left hand chord shapes. If we just get that going first, then we can look at the right hand. So again, easier version coming up here. Here's a D. Straight D. And just for now, I'm going to strum four beats. One, two, three. We'll get to that exact picking in a second here. Uh, now, D slash C in the second bar is this guy here. I'm going to leave my ring finger where he was, and a middle finger will come over and grab that C note. That's a D slash C here. You'll notice that the uh, low E is X'd out, so try not to hit that guy. Two, three. Now, G slash B. Ring finger again. He stays put. This guy's going to there. That's a G slash B. One. Two, three, four, and a horrendous name for this one. Just as your G minor six slash B flat, and I'm gonna drag. Big stretch coming your way. First finger is gonna go all the way to the first fret, and ring finger has stayed put this entire line here. So he stayed. Two. Now out of context, it's an odd sounding chord. Remember, it's, it's in sequence. It'll sound great in context. One, two, three, four. Here's that first line again, very slowly. Here we go. D. One, two, three. D slash C. Two, three, so G slash B, two. Just going down up to the right hand, and G minor six slash B for that one. Two, three. Now, to get that stretch going on, make sure your thumb is nice and low. Get that thumb nice and low. If your thumb's popping up here, you're really debilitating that stretch. So get them down nice and low. Got to see that one coming a mile away. Then uh, the second line is a C chord. Two, three. Four. Now here's one for you, F sus4. I'm going to play a regular F chord here, standard F, bar to barring those top two. I'm going to add the pinky to the third fret of the G string. I'm going to end up, that means we end up having two fingers on the same string. The pinky is on the same string as that middle finger is. That's okay, we're going to need, uh, the, the pinky's going to be coming off in a second, so it's okay to have the two of them on there right now. So two beats because they're sharing a bar, two beats on F sus4, one, two, then off comes the pinky. And E sus4 now, last line, uh, second last uh, bar, sorry, and then E chord. I'm gonna add the pinky right there, second fret of the G string. That's an E sus4. And that again, we have two fingers on the same string. Your pinky's on the same string as the first finger. But that's okay, we're gonna lift that pinky off in just a second here. So strum an E sus4 for four beats. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. So I just, all that was was E sus4, one, two, three, Four pinkies coming off. One, two, three, four. Okay, so how about that? Uh, let's do that whole thing again one more time. Just, here's just, just your chords, straight strumming for now before we get to the detail. Here's your D. One, two, three. D slash C. One, two, three. G slash B. G minor six slash B flat. There's a C. Two, three. F sus4 for two beats. One, two, F, E sus4. And here's an E. Good. Good. Now you may want to stop tape right there and just get the chords down. We're going to get into the fancy picking part here now. And uh, those chords will make a whole lot more sense. So make sure you can get the left hand going. That'll give you a head start when we're doing the right hand stuff. Uh, I'm now looking at the uh, actual song sheet with the lyrics on it and everything. You'll see tab up above that. On the, on the D chord, in that bar, we're starting out here with an open D, the open D string. Then the second fret, which is of course your second finger right here, he's on the high E, and I play that note. 
returning to the load to the open D. Off comes the middle finger to give you that zero. I'm gonna play that open D again. And here's your third finger right here on the third fret. And bass note again. And then that third fret again. That's a lot of information coming at you there. I'm gonna go straight D again. Here's that first bar. Off it comes. one more time because that's a lot of the song right there in the right hand. Um, the bass is doing what's called a pedal, P-E-D-A-L, pedal tone, like that. So here it comes again slowly, three, four, zero, two, zero, 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 three, zero, three. There we go. Now, heading to D slash C. Remember the fingering for that. Middle finger is coming over here to play the A string here at the third fret. And it's much the same, but, but our bass note's now going to be on the A string right there. The bass note is the three that you're seeing, meaning the third fret. If you see a finger number, uh, uh, sorry, a, a number circled above or below, that's a left hand fingering suggestion there. I think you'll find they're pretty handy. So here you go. Here we are on D slash C. <laughs> Do that bar again. Three, four, three, three, zero, zero, three, 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 three. Good. And I um, almost forgot to mention. Make sure you rest that right hand down here. If you're just out here in space without any support, you're going to find you're missing a whole lot of notes. Try to discourage you from resting your pinky or anything like that. Try to get you to heal your hand right there. Try to rest him on the pin so you get wrist. Uh, uh, the pick stroke is coming from the wrist all the time and uh, it won't matter what chair you're sitting in, if you're sitting or standing, if you've always got that same resting spot. So I'm going to take it right from the beginning. It's important. Add a bar, go back to the beginning. Add a bar, go back to the beginning. If you go through the whole thing in one sitting, you probably won't remember the whole thing. So how about here's bars one and two, slowly back to back. Three, four. <laughs> D slash C. There we go. Now G slash B is really the same uh, right hand pattern as the previous chord was, a D slash C. Uh, so here we are, G slash B, a lot of names coming at you here. G slash B, and we've got a two, three, zero, zero, two, three, zero, three. Let's do bar three again. G slash B slowly. So I'll play the first three bars. Remember, add a bar, go back. Add a bar, go back. Here we go. Three, four, D. D slash C. G slash B. And here we go. Uh, bar four, the last uh, one on that first line, G minor six, that's the big yoga chord, the stretcheroo here. Don't throw your back out trying that. G minor six slash B flat. And same right hand pattern as the last two bars were. So we're getting one, three, zero, zero, one, three, zero, three. Okay, so we have ourselves a full line. Uh, here it is, the, ver uh, the first line coming at you slowly. Three, four. slash C. G slash B. G minor 6 over B flat. Big stretch. Okay, so you may have to stop tape there. That would be perfectly reasonable. Get that going on. We'll go to the second line when you're ready and just come back when you feel that uh, you've got that kind of going on. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be at concert speed either. Just do it at your own pace. Have fun with it. That's the thing. Uh, if this is the first time that you have isolated notes with your right hand, it's a great song to start with for sure, but you will find it to be a push forward. But that kind of picking control does show up in, in other situations big time, especially if you've got a proper rest going on. Uh, very, very big deal. Um, something I should mention, about 10 years ago I decided to stop holding my pick with the pointy end in toward the strings. I now rotate it 
I use what I call the heel of that right there, the heel of it. So I've got more to hang on to and more surface area hitting the pick. So that if that's your pointy end like that, I'm just rolling it around like that and using the pointy end to actually hang on to. And I hold it between my thumb and middle fingers primarily so that my first finger can get in there and stabilize it. Because you know how the darn thing will twist around, move around, fall on the floor, fall inside the guitar. I've had a whole lot more luck holding it this way. You might too. Give it a go. Um, the second line looks like this. I'm going to start on a C chord and you're seeing a three and a one and a zero two. That's a hammer. See that little slur indicator there. So again from the top of that uh, that bar we've got three, one, there's a hammer, zero two. So I'm having to take my middle finger off the, to get the zero and then hammer them back on to get the two second fret meaning. So here's three, one, hammer, there's that one again. Okay, so so far. Now open G, and then that one again. Okay, so so far we have three, one. Now we're gonna hammer middle finger, it's gonna go zero to two on the G string. Okay, so that's tricky. That whole bar is this. This might be the trickiest bar in the line in the song. time. Good. And you'll notice uh, down, downs and ups written on your, on your sheet. I should mention even in that first line it's always down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that so careful with that. Here's the C bar again coming at you. Three, four. It's kind of got that swing to it last time. Three, four. And hopefully you've got your sheets telling you because that would be an awful lot to take from a video. Um, heading to F sus4 here now. F sus4. Now you're seeing the three which is your pinky meaning the third fret. Your pinky's playing that guy. And then off comes the pinky to give you that two. There's the one. Open. Get rid of that middle finger. And then the three is already there that you need. I'm gonna do that bar again. F sus4. Open. Get rid of the middle. Here's your third fret. Good. Here's the first two bars in that second line, starting from the C very slowly. Three, four. F sus. There we go. Last time, same thing. Here's your C. Three, four. F sus. Open. Here we go. Easiest part, I think. E sus4. I'm going to jump on an E chord, add the pinky. That gives you E sus4. And it's all in the right hand now in this bar. We're starting on the G string for the two. Open B, D, B, A, B, D, B. I'm calling out string names there. That might be too confusing. Let me just play it. Two, zero, two, zero, two, zero, two. Zero. Now you may have to look at your right hand to make sure you're hitting the right strings and nothing, no shame in that, that's for sure. In that bar again, E sus4. Now all I'm going to do now is get rid of my pinky and do the exact same right hand pattern. Check this out now, we're on an E. Okay, so those two bars back to back, E sus4. E. So, okay, that's your entire main riff. I know that's a lot to stitch together, but be kind to yourself and stop tape and just sit and practice each one as you need to. You should not be able to get this in like a five minute video. It's not really how it works. Um, so let's play it a couple times through very, very, very slowly if you're feeling up to that. Uh, you'll notice there's a kind of a swing to it. I'll call it a little bit of a lilt. There's a nice little lilt to this. Uh, that kind of gives it its, uh, its, what, what its, uh, its flavor, I guess would be a good way to put it. Um, here we go from the D, from the main riff. Three, four, and... D slash C, G slash B, G minor 6, is your C coming, F sus, E sus, E, and give you a 
second to breathe. Heading back to D here now. Top, even slower. Three, four. D slash C. G slash B. G minor six. Here we go. C. Hammers, F sus. E sus four. Now, uh, when you listen to the recording, things are, I'll, I'll say things are a bit more scrubby, meaning it's more strummy. Um, I strongly encourage you to, to, to learn it just like we did, to get it pristine, to get that to main riff, uh, so you're really drawing that out. And uh, I think you're gonna hear Neil Young on the recording, it's more, it's a bit more scrubby like this. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit more brushy like that, but you can still hear the main riff, which is why I highly recommend get the main riff nice and pristine, and then your right hand just has to kind of uh, overshoot a little bit to give you that scrubbiness. Yeah, so let me play the whole thing through, and I'll let you go. Here it is, three Ds going. Big stretch. C. Us. There we go. Repeat, repeat, repeat. That's the entire song. Doesn't do anything else. Um, so I know that's a toughie. Hopefully, uh, you're going to peck away at that. You know, again, these things don't come in five minutes. So just take, take it a bar at a time, bar at a time, and get into the right hand. There's a fair bit of technique coming at you there. Um, a lot of fun to play and definitely a campfire classic. Now, if you're not up to doing all that picking and it spooks you, you could literally. I'm going to play the easy version here, just strumming chords. D, two. Three, D slash C, G slash B, the big stretch, I'm going to go to a C, one, two, three, F sus, E sus, E. That might be just enough for a campfire version if that's all you were looking for. So don't let it bog you down, for sure. Thank you again for coming back. If you enjoyed or benefited from this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help. And hit that little bell button when you subscribe. It'll tell you when other videos have come out. And go get those sheets. If you don't have them already, shanesimpson.com. There's nothing to sign up for. Just go get them. So a lot more videos coming your way. And you can now support this channel by going to patreon.com slash guitar at work and just throwing in a buck or two. Really does help. I really appreciate that. So have fun and we'll see you again soon now. Bye-bye.